Hello guys, welcome to Titingazi TV and it's your girl Titi. Let's just let Kimami introduce herself. Oh, and... hi guys. And uh, I Kimami, obviously, but then um, the real name is Khadidia. And I'm here today with Datuma. As she has explained, it had been a while trying to get me here. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God, let me, you know, let me have a think what I really want to do. And I'm like, ah. And I told I'm a bit, you know, I'm a bit mm. shy and I really don't want to, she's like, come on girl, you know, you have a lot of experience, you can have a little, we can have a little chat, let's just flow. And I thought, yeah, flowing is the best way to be honest and exactly. talk about something that you are most comfortable with and mm -hmm. something that you are experienced in. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, it was like two days ago and I said, I, I think I'm ready. Let's, mm -hmm. let's kick it with cooperating parents. That's I know there isn't a... There is a, uh, there's no hero on raising kids, but then we all have to try and try, not yeah. only try and trying our very best. More like we want to raise awareness. Yeah, it's awareness, but then... But then everyone has their own kind their of own lead. Exactly. grateful to be here. We've lost so many last year and yes. we don't know, but we're just hoping, let's hope that yes. Allah is with us with this 2021 and let's hope things yeah. will go better to be, yes, 100%. yeah inshallah the to our topic will be the healthier and a stable way of upbringing our children in uk so yeah. basically it's the healthier and stable way of yeah. bringing up our uh bringing up um our children in uk yeah. it's a challenge i know bringing up a child anywhere it's a challenge 100%. not only in the uk but then it comes yeah. as a challenge because we are in a foreign country what's up in the middle it's a, there's a religion there there's um uh the western life is there yeah. and uh the parents being together sometimes oh being together because yeah. there's a the parents that are together and uh yeah. i'm not saying failing nobody's failing but doing yeah. it different uh, differently yeah the but ways then of, um, parenting as you say yeah. yes then it's all about uh linking the uh, uh our religion guidelines yeah our the western life that we live on because if the child was born here honestly yeah. the child will not have a mindset of somebody who was born in africa 100%. i tell you that 100%. but then it's different so yeah. us as a parent uh -huh. though me and kimami we were not born here mm -hmm. but then at least me i came here when i was old enough yeah. to know what's wrong what's bad yeah. but kimami came here did not know what was what, what's wrong what's you, you you have to adjust yeah so it's you like maybe our yeah. views might be a bit slightly similar but not similar as well because yeah. she was brought up here yeah. so uh we have few that we want to share with you but yeah. that is our topic which is a healthier and stable way of bringing our children in uk right our first question kimami will be what are the benefits of co-parenting well uh like i said maybe my view and your view might be different because mm. i was born and brought up in africa but you were yeah. born and brought up here so our view will be the same you like, yeah, mother. you've got the best of both worlds you kind of grew up there mm -hmm. and i came and do my studies here yeah, yeah you did your studies here and true true but then again whether you like it or not <laughs> I was uh, brought up there yeah. anyway because Kimami she's a mother mother of two yeah. and like I said she was brought up here and what are we we want to hear her views yeah. on this uh our first question let me just repeat the question yeah. it's what are the benefits of cooperating parents well the category itself is huge to be honest because there's definitely. so much we can talk about hmm. when it comes to cooperating parents hmm. or cooperating parenting let's say hmm. and I think Having two parents cooperating in their children's lives mm -hmm. creates, first of all, first and foremost, um, a bond, mm -hmm. love, mm -hmm. togetherness, mm -hmm. and also child's development, how that child grows. Mm -hmm. You know, reflecting back from my upbringing, right. I feel as a mother, mm -hmm. I have to kind of, I have a huge responsibility mm -hmm. to raise my children in a healthier and a better way. It is a better way. Yeah. Because, you know, I know a lot of people that mm -hmm. have kind of grew up mm -hmm. in a lost, let's say a lost manner because mm -hmm. they probably didn't have both of their parents mm -hmm. or one of their parents mm -hmm. um, not cooperating in their life. Yes. So that brings kind of uh, a bit of a 
well negativity a lot of neg- negativity to be honest i don't think i would really want to kind of put it into just an approach of a dad not being there mm. or a mother not being there mm. i feel as if the topic you, you the question you asked about what are the benefits of mm-hmm. being having a cooperative parent the benefits are so just they're just so generic mm. really it's most often to do with as i said before mm-hmm. having a bond with your child mm. creates love for that child exactly and whenever that child has love within themselves mm. they shed that love mm. as they grow mm-hmm. to their teachers to mm-hmm. their friends to their families to, yes because one day that child is going to have their, their own, own family. family. Yes. And if they don't, they did not experience love, love. With, uh, at their yes. home, yes. what kind of uh, family are they going to have? The, and yes. a family without a love. Yes. What, there's a thing, Auntie Inatema. What you plant is mm. what you sow. Something like that. Exactly. So whatever you kind of compromise mm. with mm. your children, mm-hmm. that's how they will, that's how they they will, will kind of, your child loses so much. In their upbringing, when mm. they miss one kind of one, parent, one parent yeah. within their life, mm-hmm. especially like you know, in the UK, it's a different culture. Mm. You know, it's all about having togetherness in one family mm-hmm. that creates freeness. Mm-hmm. To be honest, because even in schools, mm. for example, that's just a generic example that I'm giving you. Yeah. In schools, when you pick up when when a teacher sees one child mm. getting picked up from their parent. Mm-hmm. Honestly, they weigh that up and they treat People, that child as the mother and the yes. father. And the, I mean, yes. picking their child. Yeah. They know that their child comes from a very stable family. Yes. So, and they give that child much they, respect. They, than, 100%. Than the child that just been 100%. collected by growing, one parent. Yes. Growing sure. up. I've seen that. I came to the UK. I uh, started in year two, I remember. Mm-hmm. And obviously, it was just my sister picking me up constantly. Mm. And you can tell there is a difference how the teachers treat you. And because we're in a foreign country, of mm-hmm. course, they're going to weigh that up. Mm-hmm. You know, so it has much, it has a lot of impact. impact. So cooperating parents for me, and if you ask me, I think it's mostly parents need to pay, um, play a role model for their children, both. Mm-hmm. Regardless. Otherwise, the kids will yeah. be in a very tough uh, upbringing. Because yes. they get it from school, from their friends. Then a child sit down and try to think. I wish I yeah. could have my mom around. I wish I could have my father around. Yeah. You know, trying yes. to like, and it really yeah. affect them physical, uh, physically, physically and mentally. Mentally, yes. Because honest to God, um, a, a year three, ch- a year three um, child. Hmm. So they're often like uh, seven years old at that age. Hmm. Honest to God, when they see mom and dad pick them up both hmm. from school, or not even both of them picking them up, but hmm. perhaps like. Taking turns, mm. honest to God, for them mm. that is like an accomplish. It is. It's a happiness for them. Who's coming to collect me today? Oh, oh, dad, yeah. oh, mom. mom, you so, know. Yeah, so that, it is. Like, oh, you know. But then when you constantly just see one parent picking them up from school, mm. it's like, where's my dad? Mm. Naturally, and we're not looking at a parent side of you mm. here. We're looking for the child. Child. What is the child missing? Mm-hmm. And uh, whatever the parents went through to be where they are right now, yeah. it wasn't the child's fault. It wasn't no. So why should the child yeah. pay for? You know, that is a, that, that is another topic, Auntie. Wow, well, hey. stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> well, moving on. Think, well, man. It depends. Yeah. 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 Like healthy, yeah. happy. Yeah, for those, you know, mm. for those that are separated, mm. the topic is huge. But again, mm. um, yeah, we're talking about the healthy. I know it's a, like we said, it's a huge topic. But yeah. at least a few things. Yeah. That yeah. Point, point. I mean, for those people that are separated, I think as, mm. as a parent, we should first of all leave every everything that was wrong between the two mm-hmm. aside. Because now we're looking at mm. our children's upbringing. That's one thing that is very because important. You put your your feelings aside right. because at the and end focus of the day, about, about that. the children, about the child, or mm. about children, mm. or whatever. You know, and that's all. I know for fact, like you know, you know mm. how it is, we, especially in the UK, how the system works. Mm. You know, school, uni, work, whatever. Stressing. Yeah, it's it's stressful and. Again, as you said, like put everything aside That's for right. your feelings or your um, mm. your job, your um, your responsibilities. Because at the end of the day, if you have a child, mm. you are no longer single. You're not, you're you're not, not a single never anymore because God has given you that blessing to mm. have a child. Mm-hmm. Therefore, you shouldn't really have to kind of say, "Oh, you know, oh, just because we're separated, mm-hmm. it doesn't mean 
I can just go on and do my own thing. Because often, mm. especially in the UK, mm. when two people separate, mm. mom, a mother takes the control. Because they, okay, I'm going to have to... in the UK most of the time. Most mom, of the, yeah. yeah, but obviously back home, you know better, right? Yeah. What happens back home? Most people... I mean, sometimes the kids go to their uh, grandma or yeah. sometimes... Yeah, yeah, most of the time, I think it's the wo woman who takes care of their yeah. kids. There are single or single dads that look after their yeah. kids. Speaking Don't get me my wrong. Yeah. My, dad, mm. my dad got married whole time. Mm -hmm. And he's taken all his children. Whenever he goes. Yes. Whenever he goes, he takes his That's kids. That's just an Never experience. Never leave kids uh, behind. My dad, my dad is a That's father so figure. My dad is a father figure. That's how it's supposed I, to be. And I praise him for that. That is how it's supposed to be. A hundred percent. But then I think a lot of parents take misuse that uh, mm. in the UK because most of the time they have a thing saying, oh, because of benefits mm. or the system, the mm. mother can cope by herself. Mm. But then it's not just about coping. What are you doing for your child? Is it about the mother, though, or about the child? About the child. Exactly. When, when a mom says, <laughs> oh, the mother can look after that child, it's not about, it's the, not mother. about the mother. It's, to you, it's a, it, it's a bonus. If somebody says, Kimami, they are yours. Yes. It's oh, a bonus. It's a bonus because, but, because like, I, I, for me, mm. When, when you talk about when I talk about my views, mm. I feel like it's an honor for me to have my children mm -hmm. because I had them, uh -huh. they're my blood, mm. and if I neglect them in mm. any way, mm. where else are they going to exactly. get that love? But then, is it fair on the child missing that dad time? That time, exactly. Yeah. This is what we're saying right here. It's like it's not about. It's not Our problems as as a parent. That's what it's about said. that what poor said. child. Put all your um, troubles aside, mm. you and that parent, mm. and put the child at the foundation. Mm. Right. What am I going to do for my child? And what are the needs? Mm. What are the needs? Are simple. Mm -hmm. Time, mm -hmm. love, mm -hmm. finance. It can come in because obviously yes. we we can't be all you know. Uh, we can come from. You don't have it. You don't have it. But I think time is the most time and love. Time Every and love. Everyone has it. Yes, and time and love is the most important thing for my children. That's true, because uh, like you said, when it comes to money, that's another thing. That's another thing. If There's you don't, some have, people it, you don't, don't have, have it, you don't have it. But, but time, that's a, the, the whole concept here is time. You have to have time for your child, because especially, let me tell you this, um, experience from, uh, saying experience from my own kind of view, mm. A mother who had two children, a girl and a boy, mm. that child, a boy mm. mostly, will need father figure, father figure in yes. their life mm -hmm. because this turns them to be like, okay, I can see a, a man's side of you mm -hmm. and a woman's side of you. But if that's they fine. just see one side mm. and that's a mother, and then it's for a mother to teach a, a son, isn't it? Yeah. You cannot open up to everything. So there is where you need the father figure to, to do the teaching. Yeah. Okay, so moving on to my like, I have a question for you. Yeah. For those parents that have separated, mm. what do you think makes a good parent? Mm. What makes a, a loving parent? What do they need to do or mm. what do they need to implement in their children's mm. lives to be a good parent? I think it's yeah. uh, it's too early for you to ask me a question because oh, this yeah. is my stage. <laughs> I'm I know. To ask you. I'm, I'm, like, I'm taking but over. It's okay. I'm it's okay. Over, it's fine. I will yeah. answer you. <laughs> Seriously. You know what? we said earlier it's not about material or you know it's all about love yeah. time yeah. and the bond I agree. you know kids they're very funny creature yeah they true. go where there's love yeah and well, with the kid it's all about love whoever shows them time whoever showed them uh love yeah there is where they will run to yes. you see kids here run to their stepdad yeah like their own like their own biological dad. just because they don't get it from their father and also because kids have no hate in them. They don't know what's wrong, what's right. So they run to... Where they can get that love, I where they can that. get that, you know, yeah. that's the problem. So I think we have to put our differences aside and focus with the kids. Yeah. Whenever God bless you with a child, right? Yeah. From that day, you should know. Yeah. Now it's all about that child. Right, I, I we've got our, uh, uh, our our plans. We've got our uh, schedule, yeah. but then you have to schedule yourself within that child. You, the child has to be have to have that. Uh, they have to have their time. Yeah, you know uh, they have to be included in that uh, schedule. Yeah, right. But what I've seen on so many, uh, I, I don't want to say men. Yeah, even the women. Yeah, yeah, even the women's right. 
it's like they will schedule themselves but then they put kids as as their free time whenever they get their free time yeah. they will go and have time with that child yeah and honestly it's not fair yeah especially where we live we are honestly home. closed doors with our children mm -hmm. mosque school home that's the system. that's their life uh, our lives and whenever they go home whoever they spend the most time with at home that's who they kind of build love and bond with Correct. and i feel like if a father or a mother mm. kind of departs themselves with mm. that child's life mm. they kind of distance themselves definitely and that bond is never there it will never be it there. will never be there because well, the lifestyle never. that we mm. have in the uk is mm. totally different africa. Africa. Well, right. africa people they adjust to it they think okay that's my dad we have to respect i know mm. that's a but in africa uh, in we've the got anchor we've got that that yeah. you see more often yes exactly but but then, here a child yeah. can be in the house for almost a week yeah who do they see the mother or the father uh, the father yeah. or the mother whoever they live with yeah. right that's mm. right. it's time in the mm. uk it's all about time it is you have to adjust your lifestyle mm. around that child's time so simple as that like can i give a good example yes please like the child has three holidays in mm. a year mm. you've got to say right i work this time mm -hmm. or i go whatever this time mm. but my child has a holiday at this time that's mm -hmm. the time i want to implement mm -hmm. so i can have that bond and oh. love for my mm -hmm. child mm -hmm. but our mentality our, uh, is driven so much our children we're, without realizing we're not, re we're not realizing yet and I, I don't think it's just about not realizing. I think it's just to do with selfishness. Really, selfishness, that is, that is it. Because and it's again, not something that we should really be reading about or researching about. It's hmm. very, very generic things like, but that's and, my child. I want to spend time with them. Again, if mother and father cannot uh, be there or cannot sit down and talk and help that child, hmm. who else can do that? Nobody. Especially and then... Yeah. This is where we go wrong, and these poor kids, they go outside grand, seeking for, seeking for love, and then they get this idea of that love is not from home, but it's elsewhere, and that's yes. when... And people driving them to a, a wrong... And if you fail, believe me or not, there's a people that willingly yeah. to, to drive that child to a wrong path. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's Heavily. Heavily, you know? honestly, and... Let's just be careful, The honestly. outcome of it all, I think... Let's not be Our selfish. children are, they don't deserve like they to don't. be to be neglected or yeah. to have less time with one parent yeah. because they've got a lot going on. I yeah. think the best way uh -huh. to raise our children, for those parents that are separated, uh -huh. is to show a bit of love and care and time. That's all they need. That's, that's it. That's it's all they need. That. It's not even a PlayStation. It's not even... It's <laughs> not even a, <laughs> a gaming computer <laughs> if you cannot... <laughs> Why not? Why not? Example from you, Natuma, mm. I feel like you literally, mashallah, do the perfect thing. Trying. You know, and as you said, you're trying because mm. you're not doing it for you, mm -hmm. you're doing it for the child. That's right. So many videos you know, of you or <laughs> pictures of you guys all mm. together mm. going shopping mm. together and having a walk together or doing exercise together. Mm. And that's effort. That's that, that's not a lot of effort to do mm. as a parent exactly. because you, all you're trying to do there is show the way and show the love. It does not cost a thing. It does not cost a thing. Love doesn't cost a thing. You that's, can go to that awesome. shopping, <laughs> right? And maybe spend two pounds. Yeah. And two pounds, come on, you can spare two pounds. You can spare but two the pounds. thought of you guys walk to that shop. Yes. Talking while you're walking. While you're walking. Shows, does so much Interrupt. Fun. Interrupting, yeah. You know, it's that's all. Yeah, so it's sometimes true. it does not cost you a lot. It's just timeless. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all creating that time. Let's yeah. just go for a walk. Let's just stretch in. Yeah. Let's just do this. Oh, and then, honest to God, there is no such thing as important as communication with your child. I tell you. Communication is key with everything. Mm -hmm. And when we look at it in, a, in, in an aspect of, like, um, children, mm. children go through a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, they go to school, they go to mosque, they see different people. And if you don't have that love or time with your child, they could mm -hmm. never open up. They will never. That's something that I know. Yeah. You know, I can't really say exactly like, oh, you know, but I know, given fact from somebody that I know mm. cannot communicate with their children, with their mother or mm. father, mm. because of the distance they had mm. with them. They hardly they would go, see them. They hardly, they hardly, they hardly get, them, they hardly get to time to talk. So they could, he could never express how he feels mm. or what he's been through mm. because he doesn't have. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Often. I've seen it. I've seen it and experienced it. Mm. Those 
uh, children that mm. don't have time to chat to their parents mm. often mm. seek attention or seek validation mm. from either could be social media or seek validation from other people and you don't know what kind of people they're onto mm -hmm. it could be a bad person and then they influence them to do bad things and that's gone and you know and that's where the old trouble begins and that i think it's crazy that is serious you know it is, it's it is such serious. a serious topic they seek love and validation from other people rather than your own family or your mother and father and that's when you kind of start the child starts self-destructing because they think why can't i not get these